What's up guys, it's Ginger Mega here and I'm back at it again. This is part two of my series Heroes in, so in Society. If you want to go and check part one, it's up in the top right corner. Better do that, otherwise you might not understand what's going to happen here. And basically what we're going to talk about is why My Hero Academia, while in a completely different genre, might not be that far apart from Incredibles as you might think. So, what do we know about My Hero Academia? It's about a kid, Izuku Midoriya, who lives in a world with 80% superheroes, or people with quirks, as they are called in the series. What happens is that he doesn't have one, so he needs to get one, well, he gets one from a very big superhero there, blah blah blah, blah storytelling stuff, which I can make a separate video to if anyone wants, but not here. Basically, what I analyze here is how superheroes are in their respective societies. In this one, it's pretty blankly given, like, what they are and how they were made. What I bring into comparison with Incredibles is the fact that My Hero Academia is basically just the evolution of it. In Incredibles, you had uh, all of them starting with superpowers. No one knew how to regulate that. There were no laws, no agencies, no nothing. What we concluded in the last episode is that they tried to develop that. In the second movie, they made an agency for superheroes. It kind of backfired, of course, because storytelling, but it still was a start. What we see in My Hero Academia is that it's basically that just fleshed out. You have it. You have a backstory of everything started chaotically. You had the supervillains that were terrorizing people, and then there were superheroes who saved that. That then continued into them making actual laws and regulations for these superheroes which led to schools like UA, who, with, where the kids simply learned to be superheroes and learned how to be super. Then they still need to, even if they go to such a school, they need to do stuff to get a license for such a, well, superhero lifestyle. If they do that, then they need to check out agencies and they need to very likely at some point either make an agency for themselves, like we see, I'm guessing, uh, Endeavor didn't somehow inherent, inherit his agency from someone, he very likely had to make it his own, which I'm guessing most of the superheroes will need to do once they get to a higher state. But what basically this shows is each of the points that I talked about in my last video was realized. They made a, they made laws, they made regulations, they made schools, they made agencies, they made licenses for such stuff to happen. Which basically means what you see in Incredibles is just the beginning. What you see in My Hero Academia, while not perfect clearly because we see the problems with the villains being they are simply outcast normal people. Like, of course they have quirks that are a bit unusual, but the main point of the whole series or the character Shinso, which is, his quirk is the ability to, when someone talks with him, he can control their movement, they, he can control them. This inherently seems like a bad or evil quirk. But what he does with it is good, which is his whole thing. He shows that even if you have a bad quirk, you, if given proper training, can be a good person or a good superhero or simply a normal person. What happens in this society more often is that that doesn't get reinforced, what we see with Toga. She has a quirk that is more than unfriendly, 
and stuff happened which led her to be outcast and become a villain because she had no other choice. This basically shows that even though My Hero Academia is much, much further in this storyline, they still are not perfect. They need to solve how to make, how to solve prejudice in their world, which is in every world. You are never going to have a story or like a perfect world where there is no prejudice towards any other person. And yeah, honestly, that's, that's the whole video because My Hero Academia actually did it very well in the way that they showed how superheroes work in a society. And yeah, that's basically it. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, give me a subscribe, whatever. And actually, you know what? Smash that subscribe button because it really helps me out. And that's it. Bye.